I'm talking about permanence and the effect our water and crude oil consumption has on the earth people. Permanent. I'm so sorry to interrupt. I was wondering if I could borrow Bridget for a minute. Of course. Bridget. As I was saying, it's absolutely essential. Let's put this candy away. Why'd you do that? What? Why'd you move those? Oh, uh, I didn't want to be tempted. I stress eat, you know? No, I don't know. Oh. No, I, di I didn't mean that you, um, I, I just meant I, I used to be like you. Like me, Hal. I get your headspace. You know, um, you just, you feel trapped in your own body. Like, like someone's picked out your Halloween costume and they show you and you're like, um, no, I would not like to wear that. I don't have a problem with how I am. Oh, of course. Yeah, no, I, I, I um. This is just how we look in my family. Right, so thank you for taking the time out of class. I see um, you have a pretty intense course yeah. load this semester. Because the last guidance counselor made me sign up for like 900 classes because I apparently had too much time on my hands. Why? Because I got caught smoking a cigarette in the parking lot once. Oh. I mean, it, it, it seems like last semester you were having issues making it to class. And so now I have more of them. Classes or issues? Both. So, um, how do you like art? How do I like art? It's art. No, the, you have a class. Um, it's fine. The other day, the teacher asked us to draw what we think the back of our eyes look like because that apparently represents your soul. Huh. But all I see back there is black. Okay, so um, I just wanted to check in because... About the pictures of Miriam? Everybody knows you're pulling in kids from class and interrogating them like it's freaking Guantanamo. Yes, I'm trying to suss out who's behind the pictures. For Miriam's privacy. Well, I mean, she can do whatever she wants. I mean, if that's how she wants to spend her time tied to a bed or riding a centaur to school for all I care. She can do what she wants. It's her body. No, I, I don't think Miriam posted the photos herself. Well, then I guess that is a completely different story now, isn't it? I don't know, I try to stay out of all the drama, so. You see, the problem is it's not just about the pictures. No, this is, this is bullying. I don't think Miriam would recognize bullying if it bit her in her Gucci backpack. Agree to disagree then. <laughs> I'm sure she's fine. She's not gonna off herself and leave her blood on your watch if that's what you're worried about. She would never do that. She could never, no longer be. Are we done? Almost. Um, this is, you, right? That's, that's you with Miriam? Middle school, yeah. We danced together, and now I guess we're just more aware of each other now. I don't know, we don't really talk anymore. Did something happen? I grew out of it. And I'm like pursuing more intellectual areas now, so. Oh, how so? Feminism, you ever heard of it? Yes, in fact I have. All the girls in the school, you know, they, they have it completely backwards. They don't understand the dichotomy they're forced to live under. Maybe this is good for Miriam. To have a little fall from grace. People should be even. Do you know anything about who might have posted the pictures? If I tell you something, you have to do something for me. Well, that depends. 
I want permission to start a feminist group at this school and I've already talked to Principal Walsh about it, but she completely shut it down, said I was too angry, which is what society considers a passionate woman. But you, you, could, uh, you could talk to her for me? Yeah, I, I can try. P. Walsh loves me. What you got? She was dating somebody new. And she didn't want anybody to know, but I could tell because something had like shifted in her face. How do you mean? Miriam never smiles. At least like not in the vulnerable way. But one day at lunch a couple weeks ago, I, I saw her do it. It was kind of weird. And she's like always dated a bunch of dudes and they're like usually older. But none of them ever make her smile. Not like that. This was somebody new. So they could have posted the pictures in the app. I, I don't know. But I mean, you should ask that weird kid, Roger. Ro Roger, I don't. Yeah, he's like always hunched over and kind of brilliant, asperger -y. Always wears a serial killer hoodie. Roger. He definitely made that up. He made the app? Mm-hmm. 